how to document a gel in most of the lab experiments we extract the dna cut it join it to form the recombinant products and perform pcr reactions etc these products are then run on an agarose gel to measure the purity and to view the final results of our experiments the final step after running in an agarose gel is documentation of the gel during the running of a gel a small amount of ethylene bromide is added This binds to the DNA or RNA molecule. This ethylene bromide emits fluorescence on exposing to UV rays. Based on the fluorescence, the position of the DNA or RNA molecule on the gel can be identified. Components: a dark chamber, camera, UV and light illuminator, a stage to place the gel, and a computer system to view the images obtained. The epi white light is used to view the position of the gel in the image. The lights are placed above the gel. The trans UV light in the image helps to fluoresce the ethylene bromide bound DNA molecule and image them. The lights are placed below the gel. Procedure. Before placing of the gel on the stage, the stage is wiped clean by the use of ethanol. The gel is then slowly placed on the stage by sliding the gel with a gentle pressure from the template. Care must be taken to prevent the breaking of gel as gels are very fragile. Once the gel is placed on the stage, any air bubble that might be present is slowly removed by gentle pressure using the hand. Open the quantity one application saved in the system. Select Gel Doc XR from the file menu. This provides simple luminescent image of the gel. Select Epi White from the Illumination Type options to switch on the visible light. Using the Tele and White option, the gel can be zoomed in or zoomed out so that the entire gel is seen on the screen. The image of the gel is focused to desired amount using the near and far option until a point where the wells in the gel is seen clearly. If the position of the gel on the stage is not proper, this can be adjusted by opening the upper door on the image. The gel can be moved to a appropriate position on the stage by hand. Make sure that the trans UV light is not switched on when you place your hand inside the image. Once the gel is positioned and focused on the stage, now switch on the trans UV light. The exposure to the trans UV light can be acquired both automatically and manually. In auto exposure, the exposure amount and the time of exposure increases gradually whereas in manual acquire the level of exposure time can be manually set to required levels trans white light is used for the documentation of protein gel as the dye bromophenol blue does not require uv light for fluorescence a white plate is placed on the stage before placing the protein gel for documentation when the required image has been obtained the image can be freezed and printed once the image has been freezed this can be saved in the designated folder indicating the name of the experiment date and all other details regarding the image once the image has been saved This image has to be exported to JPEG file format. Select Export option from the file menu. In this, select Highest Quality Export and export the image. 
The final step is the removal of the gel from the stage. This is done carefully by sliding the gel along the sides into the template, taking care not to break the gel. Again, wipe the stage with ethanol on a tissue paper before closing the instrument. This is the final documented image of the gel.